Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to how to re-roll in JP without any downloads whatsoever for Princess Connect. So let's jump right into it. First thing you're going to do, type in multi instant manager. You saw it right there. You're going to click this bad boy and open it up and you're going to be brought to this window. Now, after you're brought to this window, you know, you start NuGet 32-bit and a Princess Connect, you know, whatever you want to name it. Essentially, the next steps are going to be download the Q app, and then I'll leave links to this in, you know, description and download the actual game itself and put it on BlueStacks, right? Once you put it on BlueStack, you will be presented with this screen in particular. I'll have links to BlueStacks, and I'll have links to BS Tweaker, which is what's going to root your BlueStacks because that's the tool that you have to use. So let's go into this part where we're actually playing the game, all right? So we're gonna go into here, click that button. You're not going to click the blue button right there, which is pretty much telling you to sign into your Google Play account. No, you are going to skip that portion. Okay, right here, you know, this is very similar to the Princess Connect in Global. Essentially, it's just playing through the cutscenes and going through all the minor details. For the most part, you can, you know, click through it, skip through it, whatever you need to do to get through it, it's gonna play. And I've already downloaded the assets for this game, so you won't see too many downloads. Just note, of course, this is a quite large file. And right now is the best time to re-roll for Princess Connect JP because you are getting like 15 or like it's an insane amount of rolls. You get one free multi every single day. You get like 12 multis as soon as you log in. It's just insane. I got a tier list for you. You got pretty much every single like best character like thrown at your face as soon as you start this game. This is absolutely amazing. Plus you get to look into the future of Princess Connect because Princess Connect JP is technically the highest or most updated form of Princess Connect. So it has the latest content, the latest characters. If you're free to change your name, I'm just going to leave it at default. You can change it later. Honestly, it's up to you whether you want to change your name. It doesn't affect gameplay whatsoever. If they voice acted like, my, you, you know, you saying your name, that would be so cool. I've never seen any gotcha do that. That would be one of the most immersive things. But let's go ahead. I'm just showing you how to skip everything. If you re-rolled, you know, in my Princess Connect EN guide, it's pretty much the exact same way. But, you know, maybe, maybe this one's a little bit more intimidating. I understand. So just go ahead and keep clicking keep clicking keep clicking so we're gonna just go through the tutorial phases and i have to say the jp version it feels right it feels right man like there, there's just so many things where i thought like i wouldn't understand the game but once you play Crin princess connect like in english you play it once it just sort of clicks all together and if you can understand like the way things flow in jp and how the future characters work and how strong they are I think you'll have a greater appreciation for when global launches, or at least you'll, you know, you might not even play global anymore even. And just note that it no longer requires a VPN to play, you know, Princess Connect JP, which is really amazing. I guess once, you know, the soft launch happened, maybe there was like a VPN unban or like they allowed all I, you know, countries to play Princess Connect. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's super cool that we can actually play it, you know, on QApp, on BlueStacks, because I know before you had to, you know, download uh, BPN, you had to be on DMM player, which is probably the better experience to play Princess Connect JP, but I couldn't, I, I tried doing it at the time and it just didn't work for me. So we're going to go with this method because it works, it works, it works, it works. All right, you are going to be presented with this screen, as you all know, pretty much just, you know, equipping gear and all that. And... Come on, let's let's get into the good part. Let's get into the good part. The parts that everyone wants to see. At least that first that first one where guaranteed SSR. If I if I have to keep this account, I'll cry because I've been re-rolling for quite some time on JP, right? I've been playing global or the soft launch, you know, version, but you know, I, I don't want to spend too much time on it. So this is a guaranteed, you know, three star or highest rarity unit in Princess Connect. So who do we get here? It's also based off of the background, you can sort of tell, oh, I got Makoto. This is actually a pretty good reroll for JP. She's still one of the best rerolls in the entire game because, you know, clan battles out and she's a top performer in clan battle. So you can't really go wrong there. All right. I wish I got June though, but I'm not sure if you can get June from the, you know, the rerolls. All right. Let's go ahead and go through here. We're going to get our character, equip them and do all the things. 
Yep, yep. I just want to show all of this in case, you know, someone's wondering, is there any difference in rolling JP? The only difference really is that you get more stuff. Like, you get way more stuff when re-rolling in JP. It feels super worth it. It feels nice. Like, after going through all of this and doing all the downloads, ooh, the amount of summons, all the animations that you get to see, it's just something else. It is just something else. You can tell like there's a reason why this game lasted as long as it did and it will continue to blossom in jp because of the amount of love and effort that side games puts into princess connect all right come on let's get into our mailbox the mailbox show us the goodies with all 15,000 summons or 15 not 15,000 summons every year 15,000 jewels slash gems well it's actually even more than that believe it or not because of the login bonus you get even more all right yep we're going on there go ahead and collect our mission rewards yep 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you kokoro you are the best guide ever <laughs> okay all right are we done are we done we good here yep yep this is pretty much showing the Christmas event that's currently occurring this is Christmas Saren I don't think she is a must pull but if you know for seasonal limited purposes it's really fantastic for folks but for us, you know, since we're re-rolling, that's not the banner to go for. That is not the banner to actually go for. This is her saying there's actually a special login bonus today. We get 500 extra gems. So if you're, you know, watching this right now and you're re-rolling right now, you might be able to get 500 gems. They even have little birthdays. It's Hostinay's birthday right now, which is super cool. As of this recording, of course, as always. So whenever you're watching this, if it's different, you know, it's probably someone else's birthday. It's just... These little tiny things that make the game so much better. This is it showing you that you have a chance to roll on the Princess Fest. And, you know, you just click there. Yes, it's my birthday is on January 1st to 1st, okay? All right, and then we're going to click this present box right here. Let me in. Look at all of these goodies. Look at look at all these gems. How many gems do we get or jewels? We get 16,900 plus like the 500 we got earlier. Or I think that's actually all of it. Yeah, 17,020. That's just, just nutty. It's just so much. Can we get can we get a little bit more? Is there a little bit more we can get some? Can we can we get some more? Um I just want to like verify if we can get some more. No, we probably can't get any more. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the summon. So you go right into here. And technically you could have re-rolled already if you want to. But I'm assuming this is Princess Fest, right? I just click this icon right here at the bottom hand left. And then right now you are going to click this one, okay? And pretty much the characters you are re-rolling for are any of the rate up characters in the Princess Fest banner. And this banner will always be available to anyone re-rolling in JP because it is available for the first 72 hours which is really really cool and not to mention you might even be able to hit pity because you get 15,000 gems off the bat and just playing like you know princess connect throughout like the the first initial couple of like days you can probably if you're if you're grinding hard enough you can probably get another 15,000 gems to pity a limited character from the princess fest i'm pretty sure you're going hard as heck Ooh, we got two three stars right there let's go ahead and fast forward well, who's this gonna be i don't think it's a princess fest oh it is this is lab britha she's one of the best physical supports in the entire game if not like the premier one to get she does a speed boost she does like actual physical damage she's absolutely amazing Ooh, we got yukari who's gonna be who's it who's this who's this this is another lab oh, we got princess coke row the best support in the entire game she buffs both physical magical she can do it all she grants tp boosting she grants like a giant aoe heal she is the best support hands down in the entire game we just got two of the best supports let's go ahead and keep it going wow i did not know we were going to start it off this strong am i going to keep this account i really don't want to i i i'm i might just keep this account if it's that good Ooh, we got little rainbow papers that's what you want to see all right that's what you want to see because that means there is a guaranteed ssr Oh, we got two of them. So many golds too. All right, we're going to fast forward this because we don't need to see everything, but we at least want to see the animations, right? All right, who's this? Oh, we got Saren. Pretty good. We didn't get Swimsuit Saren. Swimsuit Saren is the better version, but that's just as good. I, I'll take any three-star, man. I'll take any. 
Oh, and this is one of the newer tanks in JP. She's actually pretty good, but she's better in later stars. So that's still cool. Like granted, these aren't princess fest characters, but I just got two, three stars in one multi that you can't, <laughs> how can you be mad at that? By the way, if you didn't, Ooh, we got another one. This princess fest banner in JP is just nuts. It just makes it rain SSRs. It's like, look, we got another two. It's like every single time we pull on this multi, we always get like an SSR. The rates are double, by the way. Oh, who is this? I've never seen this. Who is this? I don't think. I wish this was Nenica. I thought it was Nenica because it's like, you know, the pink hair and like, you know, it's all like bright colors and stuff. But that's just like an overall theme in Princess Connect. Did we get a dupe? Oh, we got a dupe Makoto. That's pretty funny. Yo, we take those. We take anything, right? Like, an S or a 3-star is a 3-star. Okay, no 3-star is here. But you know what? I feel like we've been already, like, crazily spoiled. So, the rates are 5%. That's why Princess Fest is so good. You, know, you get the best characters in the entire game. So, it's like a win, 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 win. We're on, like, our 6 multi. 6 multi. Do you, you know how insane that is? Like, what if Global launched like this, where you just get, like, 15 multis right off the bat. I don't think any gotcha has ever been given that many multis. Granted, it is the Christmas season. You know, tis the season to be giving. Ooh, we got Nenica there. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna, you know, I, I will take a look at all of these. But for the most part, I have seen most of the characters that we have rolled, of course. I've seen a couple of seasonal ones, like, appear on this banner, which is super cool. I think our SSR, or 3-star luck, has ran dry. Has it ran dry? Because we're not getting any more. Ooh, we got Tamaki. I like Tamaki quite a bit. It's our eighth multi. I might have to like jump out, jump back in. No, no shiny papers. Come on, can we get can we get a rainbow paper? No rainbow paper. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I understand. I understand. We got Nanika there again. We got Misaki. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give, give me the rainbow. Give me the rainbow. People want to see a rainbow, all right? Oh, no rainbow. Come on. Just one. Just one. Just one. Yeah, we got one. We got one. Let's just fast forward to that one. Can we get like a sick animation? We already got Labrytha and Princess Kokoro. Who's this gonna be? Who is this? <sighs> what is this? Oh, it's Hatsune. It's Hatsune. I like the animation for that. It it It's just so nice to see like a nice unique summon animation for three star characters when you do summon them. I like it quite a bit. It just makes it, it's like that hint of like, you know, like sugar. It's just so nice. Like I, it's, I don't need it, but I like to see it. You know what I mean? All right, look, come on. Give me, give me, give me more. We want rainbows. We want rainbows. All day, all day. I think we got two more in us. Yeah, we got, yeah. Oh no, this is our last one. This is our last one. Can it, can it at least be a, you know, a shiny SSR? Just because like, you know, why not? It'd be nice. Come on, rainbow, 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 rainbow. Oh no, rainbow. All right, this will still be a reroll for me because uh, believe it or not, I actually have, well, it's not better, but it's it's decent. Like, it, it does have, like, you know, Labritha and Princess Kokoro on the other account. I'm not really pushing it, per se, but, you know, it is what it is. Wait, we don't have enough, right? We don't have enough? Yeah, if you don't have enough, you'll be presented with this screen. Let's go ahead and switch on to the view where it's like, oh, no, you didn't get what you wanted. All right, so you can see right here we have BS Tweaker. If you open, like, you know, the BS Tweaker, you, like... This is my, you know, pre-cone tab. If I right-click zip and then I unzip it, you will get pretty much this folder right here. You open it and you get this, you know, you get this little, I guess, text box. Next thing you know, you're going to go to settings. And since this is not a 64-bit instance, this is a 32-bit instance, you are going to click blue stacks like this one. And then after that, you're going to go to info, all right? And then within info, you're going to pretty much click the account that you're rerolling. For me, it's pre-CJP pre reroll. You can see right here, pre-CJP reroll. And then I'm going to click file manager. Within file manager, oh, well, come on, right here. Within file manager, we're going to go to data. All right. We're going to go to the data folder and then we're going to go to the data folder again. If I can find it, data, data, there it is. And then you're going to go to com or JP All right. Because this is the JP version. And then you're going to go to the shared prefs and then you would technically delete this one. So 
for clarity's sake, we're gonna go ahead and do that so you can see the entire process. We're gonna close this instance because you don't want that open. And we're just gonna hit F8 delete because I don't want this one, right? You don't you don't want this. Did I delete something else on accident? Oh my god. I hope I didn't. That would be that would be really terrible if I have to download something and this game no longer works. Come on, boot up for me. Okay. There is hope. There 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 is some hope knowing that this game will still work a bit for me. All right, and you can see right here, it's ID zero. Let's switch into our other view so you guys can actually see it. Right there, ID zero before my face blocks it. You just go ahead, touch the start, and you can do the entire reroll process again with no real downloads. That's all you really have to do in order to do the, you know, multi-step, multi-reroll and all that jazz. But Let's go ahead and look at some tier lists, right? Welcome to pretty much the JP tier list. And the thing that you want to look at the most, we're gonna change this into English. And the characters that you will want will be right here. It's going to be Hope Row, right there. Ritha, Nenica, Swimsuit, Salin, Christina, Mumi, pretty much all the characters right in, you know, Princess Fest. These are all the ones that you can obtain. And if you want to see the Princess Fest banners, you're pretty much going to go to this. I'll, I'll drop the links for this as well. But you go into this and pretty much it shows you Labritha. It shows you Princess Yui, it shows you Princess Kokoro. Pretty much all of these are good. The only one you might not want is Princess Kekarine, but she's still okay. But you want Nenika for sure, you want Mumi, and you want Christina. Anyways, that pretty much rounds things out. If you can get every single one of these Princess Fest characters in JP, June is probably the best reroll or Makoto. It doesn't really matter though, because these characters are so overpowered that your tanks will probably never die, especially if you have Princess Kokoro and Yui there because the this is an AoE magical DPS and this is pretty much a healer. Anyways, if you like this video on the JP reroll, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Once we hit 7,500 subs, we'll be doing a giveaway. Anyways, I will see you in the next one.